When I'm riding through your hood, east side be with me. So the pole at his chromosome, me with me. I'm back. Any nigga got a problem with this? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy T, and I'm back with another video, man. And today, we're gonna be talking about Jossie Banks and Rainwater. Alright, so look, man. Quick video, but once again, I have to make another video about this. This is getting out of hand, bro. It's literally like a game of tug of war right now. Because Jossie Banks just responded to Rainwater's interview where he responded to her. And we're gonna talk about it. Alright, so boom. Now, initially, Jossie Banks uh, went on Instagram Live for about 40 to 50 minutes and just kind of aired out Rainwater, saying he was a snake and was talking bad about Mo3. A few days later, Rainwater had his own interview where he responded. He highlighted some key facts, especially how they're talking down on the psychic lady now but they're the one who recommended the psychic lady to Mo3 in the first place. He actually hit some more good topics, so check out the video if you haven't. But Jossie Banks just responded, and again, to be fair, she got a point. In her Instagram Live response, she brought up the fact he still didn't answer the question, were you talking crazy about Mo3 or not? But even though she brought up a key fact we gotta discredit that fact because in the same Instagram live clip, someone asked her, who was that that was on the phone that was asking, uh, well not asking, but saying, we about to pop bottles, your partner dead, et cetera, et cetera. You can't highlight the fact that Rainwater is avoiding your question when you're avoiding the question as well, if you understand what I'm saying. But again, I, I think I'm starting to understand this a little more in my personal opinion, I feel as though certain people can't say certain things because maybe they are witnesses that uh, possibly take the stand if this pushes into a murder trial. Who knows? But what I do know is she says she knows exactly who Money Maya is. Verbatim herself. And she said Money Maya is going to get what's coming to her. So I guess we just got to sit around and wait. To see what happened to Money Maya. Because as we all know, Money Maya, she's the foundation to this all. So Jossie is saying she's not Money Maya. If you believe her or not, that's up to you. I will say she does sound quite confident in knowing that it's not her. That's just from a quick analysis, of course. But does that necessarily mean that she's innocent? No. Not being Money Maya doesn't mean you're innocent. It just means you're not Money Maya. And Rainwater, do I feel as though he probably said something about Mo3? Possibly. But does that mean that he had something to do with this because he talked about somebody? No. But Jossie did say she's doing an interview soon, so... We'll see what she has to say then. And we'll have to analyze and move on from there. And see if we understand what she's saying. <laughs> but anyway, man. How y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man. Follow me on Instagram. At TZFBaby. 252. Jossie Banks. She say this is just a case of mistaken identity. But she does know who the real Money Maya is. And the world shall know soon. Say. Money Maya. But I'm gone. Yeah, she saw. Fire. She make a killer, Rita. Real snake bitch don't let her. Say. Prolific. Ay. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street, bitch. I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street, bitch. I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street, bitch. I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street, bitch. I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street.